So this is question number eight of the past paper we've been going through. Now I will leave the specific past paper down below and if you just want to learn a little bit about reading off graphs, you know, overtime pay ratios, then stay tuned because you'll learn a little bit about that as well. So question number eight, in a week Samir is paid a basic hourly rate for the first 30 hours of work. You can see that's that first line there before it kinks. So there's effectively two lines, the first line and then the slightly steeper one. Now if we look at the first line actually, we can see it goes all the way up to 30 hours and then on the corresponding pay it's 450 pounds and then continuing reading the question it says an overtime hourly rate for any extra hours worked and that's that second line so the graph shows his pay for working up to 40 hours in a week and we have to work out the ratio of basic hourly rate to overtime hourly rate give your answer in its simplest form so I think the best thing to do is work out the basic hourly rate and then the overtime hourly rate and then we can compare the ratio Shows. So basic pay, as I kind of briefly said before, we have £450 for 30 hours because we can see that first line, first 30 hours is written in the question as well. We know it's that first 30 hours. So 30 hours is £450. We want to work out how much he earns per hour for basic pay. So let's divide both sides by 30. So we get one hour on the right and we're going to have £15 on the left. So basic pay is £15 every hour. Next, we want to do the overtime pay. Now for reading the graph with the overtime pay, we want to make sure we don't read from zero to the number. We, we want to just read the difference. So I'm going to put these labels on here and we're going to have 10 hours and 250 pounds and because that's the difference across so from 30 to 40 it's 10 hours from left to right and then from you know bottom to top or from 450 to 700 it's 250 so don't just be reading off the graph you have to you know work out that difference what the actual value is for that section because that is the overtime section so he earned 250 pounds for 10 hours divide that by 10 we're going to get 25 pounds one hour so we've got the hourly rate for basic pay and the hourly rate for overtime pay now working out the ratio we will give the basic hourly rate on the left that's the form they want it so 15 and then 25 on the right because that's the ratio to overtime pay and we can actually divide both sides by five because it asks us to give it in its simplest form so 15 divided by five is three and then 25 divided by five is five so we got a ratio of three to five. 